We have Tony Adam from MySpace here with us. He just gave a really good presentation. Um, Tony, we were wondering if you could see any infographic, any infographic about anything that contains any content, what would you love to see? Um, so that's interesting. I think, uh, I think the one infographic now, just because Entourage just started, would be like the best moments from Entourage or something like that, or like, or like something about facts from Entourage characters, just because I'm really into Entourage and I'm a, like, I showed a slide of Ari Gold. He's like my idol. And Ari Gold, not Jeremy Piven, but Ari Gold is like my idol. Got it. Um, so I'd have to say that. Or like, I mean, well, yeah, let's keep it there. <laughs> cool. I don't want to go, I don't want to get a little too uh, intense with the all the nudity conversations during the entrepreneur panel. Right. <laughs> um, Tony, you talked a lot about virality. Do you think that are, there are specific characteristics in an infographic that can make it more likely to become to go viral? Um, I think it's more... Excuse me. I think it's more about... Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I think it's just basically, is it something that people want to consume, right? The reason that the cell phone plans one did so well for us was because of the fact that people are really intense about how cell phone companies overcharge, cell phone companies charge us too much, all these like different rate plans options and all that. And I mean, the one thing on our on our uh, infographic was that there's 10 million different options. So something that just makes, like is innately gonna drive someone to want to see this type of content, you wanna go for that. I think Dave mentioned it earlier, but like what are the human aspects? Like, and sex is one of those, like, food is one of those, like just eating or procreating, all that type of stuff is like really like drives people. So things like that. It seems obvious, but a lot of us don't see it right away. One more question. Um, what kind of deodorant do you use? Well, uh, that's a personal question, Gina. Um, off limits? Yeah, no, I don't use Old Spice. And even as great as it was, I won't use Old Spice because it stinks. Does it really? It does, it smells like, well, yeah, it stinks. <laughs> Thank you.